Here's your Money Briefing for Monday, May 1st. I'm Danny Lewis for The Wall Street Journal, filling in for J.R. Whalen. Investing right now can be really tricky, given high interest rates, inflation, and fluctuations in the stock market. So a lot of people are turning to long-term options in hopes of writing out any instability. One of those are certificates of deposit. According to the Federal Reserve, balances in CDs swelled to more than $480 billion in February, up from $36.5 billion this time last year. And even those are still subject to interest rate changes. So if you decide to go that route, what's the best way to do it? Here now to discuss is Oyan Adedoyan from the WSJ's personal finance team. Oyan, simple question here. What is a certificate of deposit, also known as a CD? A CD is a super safe asset that basically pays out interest over a set of time. So say an individual, an investor wants to put a certain amount of money away for a long period of time with a guaranteed interest level that it's going to gain over that time, they would use a CD to lock their money away for maybe say anywhere from six months to five years, and then be promised that at the end of that date, they would have a certain amount of money gained. Why are certificates of deposit so attractive to invest in right now? They're attractive to invest because of the high interest rates. So the Federal Reserve has been increasing rates incrementally in an effort to curb inflation. And so CDs are at some of the highest interest rates that they've been in 15 years, financial analysts say. Now, what does it mean for someone to set up a CD ladder? Can you walk me through what that might look like? So a CD ladder is a little bit more complicated and it's less of a device to optimize your yield and more of a device to kind of take advantage of high yields that are existing right now. Because some of the highest yields on CDs are more short term, an investor might want to spread their money out over a longer period of time to both take advantage of short term yields, but still have money parked away for the longer term. So say example, you have $30,000 to invest. You want to make sure that money is available every six months or so, just to have flexibility. You can set up a CD where you put $10,000 in a six-month CD, another $10,000 in a one-year CD, and another $10,000 in a three-year CD. And those would have varying interest rates. So why might savers want to invest in CDs over other stable investment options, like five-year treasury notes, I-bonds, or even just sticking cash in a savings account? Yeah, it really just depends on the individual investor. But basically, CDs are in a place right now where they are comparable to rates that you can get from an I-bond or a treasury. And in some cases, CDs are actually outpacing treasuries when it comes to yields, especially for the short term. So someone who wants to take advantage of a high yield but still maintain a relatively safe investment, since CDs are known to be on the safer side, would want to consider this types of savings accounts. Who would benefit the most from CD ladders? CD ladders are usually most beneficial for folks like retirees who are kind of living on a fixed income every month. And so they want to maybe stretch that money over the long term. Are there any downsides to investing in CDs? Yeah, there are some downsides. You definitely want to watch out for CDs that are callable. And that means that the issuer has the ability to return your cash early and skip on the remaining interest payments. So you're not going to get that full interest that you were promised early on when you signed on to the CD. So you want to make sure that you're avoiding those types of CDs. And you also want to make sure that you are avoiding withdrawing early from a CD because the penalty for taking that money out early could be anywhere from three to six months of interest. So if someone wants to start climbing a CD ladder, what should they look for when deciding where to start? They should definitely look for a CD that is FDIC insured to make sure that all their money up to $250,000 is protected. And they should also monitor the difference between a CD that's brokered and a CD that's from the bank. If you buy a bank CD and you need the money before it reaches maturity, then you'll probably have to pay that early withdrawal fee that we were talking about. However, with brokered CDs, they can be sold penalty free. So you want to really weigh all your options. And right now, kind of with access to the Internet, it's easier than ever to have a wide array of options for CDs. That's Oyan Adedoyan from the WSJ Personal Finance Team. And that's your money briefing. I'm Danny Lewis for The Wall Street Journal. 